Hi, welcome to YOH Crochet with an episode of Crochet Progress Report. This is episode number six. It is Monday, I don't know, end of September, the last Monday of September, September 30th. It is very, very early in the morning. I would say five o'clock in the morning. And forgive me if I'm speaking quite, kind of quietly because there are still people sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. So, what do we got today? Uh, today we actually have a finished object. Yay! Some new whips. Um, we're going to talk about hashtag syrup. That is the special yarn reserve project s y r p yes it says hashtag s y r p it is something that lynette from charm grammy and lynan from nina's knots crochet has started and i have a project going for that one of my whips um and just some chit chat at the end um yeah so what do you want to start with? Finish objects, whips, let's do whips cause there's a few of them. Okay, so I have two mosaic blankets going on. I'm not gonna show either one of those today. One I cannot show because it is a test pattern. And I am on row 203 out of 259 rows, I think. So it's getting near the end. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. So there's that one. There is the other mosaic that if you've been around, you've seen me show it on Mosaic Monday. Um, that's getting near completion as well so we'll save that for mosaic monday which i'm sorry i'm trying to like sit some of the ring light is not in my glasses here we'll just sit up straight tall and straight like that um yes so we'll save that for a mosaic monday video and i've got let's start with the syrup whip how's that sound okay I cannot for the life of me remember the name of this pattern, but this is a project picked out for me from Laura from Mad Me Ways Crochet and Farming. And if you were at the live and it was a it, the live was a fun time for sure, um, you saw the project reveal so. Laura picked out two patterns for me and I was going to do, it was like a uh, filet puppy dog square, a paw print with a heart. And I was going to do that and make a throw pillow, um, depending on if the square was big enough. But then I was thinking about it and I don't know, it's this nice fancy Pima cotton let me see if I, I've got a hank. I did not ball up yet. I'm not sure where I put it. One moment. Okay. It was on my craft cart that is overflowing with stuff that I need to clean off. So it is this very, very nice, soft, pink Pima Cotton Yarn by Southern Skeins. And it's special because um, when all the Zoom sisters went to Sarasota, not all of us can make it. Unfortunately, I could not make it, but everybody got two hanks of this yarn and the color is called Sarasota. And I think they went with pink because flamingos was like a huge theme for the whole trip. So, um, anyway, I thought about doing this row pillow and getting like a black pillow form or um, a black pillow I don't know and I thought like the black would show through the pink really nice for the filet part but then I was thinking about it I mean I don't know how to put in zippers and if I can't take 
the pillowcase off. I'd have to throw it all if it got icky because I have Miko, you know, dog fur everywhere and you know, if it needed to be washed because it was dirty, I'd have to throw the whole thing in the wash machine. And what happens if the cotton shrinks when it's on the pillow form? I don't know. I just rather not. Um, she did pick out um, some alternative patterns that she thought I would like. And she sent them to me. And I went, I ended up switching and I'm doing one of the alternative patterns that she sent me. She didn't pick it because she thought she she didn't think I would like it in pink, so she did not pick it. But I I was looking at it and I'm thinking, you know, if I wear a black shirt underneath this, because it's a shawl, um, it would offset the pink, and then the because there's fillet, there's designs in it. And the designs would really pop against that black, right? So I went ahead and I decided to do it. And I it's going to be close for yarn. I do crochet tightly, so I'm hoping that'll save my butt and I will have enough yarn. So I can't remember the pattern name, but I will link it in the description box down below. It is a paid pattern. And I think I just pulled out some stitches. I'll have to fix that later. Hang on, I can fix it now. Okay, I fixed it quick and it pulled up a nice big loop so I will not rip them out again. Anyway, it is a pay pattern. I believe it was $5 and I got it on Ravelry. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but we're going to hold it up. Alright, so can you see? Can you see? Can you see? It's got skulls. I'm trying to move out of the way. Well, you can kind of see. You, yeah, you definitely can see it. So, there are skulls all up the sides. And if you can see, you can't really tell, but there's the beginning of another skull up here. So, I've used almost one entire hank so far. I am using a 5.0 hook. And... I'm dropping stuff. This is all I've got left of my first hank. So I need to go ahead and ball up my second hank and yeah, get going on it some more. I do not have a ball winder or a swift, so balling up the hanks is kind of annoying. Excuse my hair. But yeah, so this is again, I don't remember the pattern name. I will link it in the description box down below. But yeah, I think it's turning out really cool. And this is going to look nice. Yeah, black shirt. Yep, I'm just hoping I have enough yarn. So that's... I almost said a finished object. So this is um, whip number one. And I believe at some point, uh, Lanann or Lynette, I'm not sure whose channel it will be on. I think probably Lanann's because I think Lynette did the last live. But I think they're going to have another live in a few weeks to uh, show everybody's progress. So there was me and Laura from Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming. There was a Joe from Joe's Web and Lynn Como, who is a much loved Zoom sister of ours. And they were paired together. Lynn's already done with hers because she's Miss Speedy Gonzalez. Um, uh, Mama Swift uh, with Nikki Addicted to Yarn. Then we had Charm Grammy and Breezy's Crafty Corner, I want to say is her channel name. Um, Bree uh, doesn't do a whole lot of videos. Um, Nikki from Addicted to Yarn, she has been on hiatus for quite some time, but who knows, maybe she'll get back into doing videos with this project. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, we had Charm Grammy and Brie, and then we had Lanann from Nina's Knots with Jan, the Alaskan Crafter. I think I got everybody. There should be five sets of people. Yeah, I got everybody. So those are all the people that are participating. So 
yeah, stay tuned. Um, go check out other people's channels to see their progress and what they're making and all that all that stuff. And you know what? This is so much fun. I want I want to do it again. And I don't know if I want to wait because some people have really big projects to do. I don't really know if I want to wait. I think they said like six weeks. I don't know if I want to wait. I kind of feel like I want to tell someone in Zoom or something after this one's done. Okay, this is my yarn. Pick out a project for me. I don't know. It's fun. And I really... I really do like that. I've been wanting to do a Lost Souls shawl for a while. Even though I'm not really a shawl person, I love this one. But I like this one better than the Lost Souls. Because in the Lost Souls, the skulls are not as defined as they are in this. Like, there's a lot more solid. Um, like, the head is all solid with the eye open openings. The skulls are definitely more defined. So I think... I prefer this personally to the Lost Souls. Okay, so I think this whip I'm having the most fun with right now out of the whips that I have, or at least my new whips. Speaking of, let us move on to whip number two. Okay, now this one I found when I was making a Halloween roundup video last year and I'm like that's cute I kind of want to do it so it's a, a spider and cobweb trim so I thought it would be cute to make it to go along the top of the wall back there just because this wall is so blank and this is where I'm typically filming these days and it needs something back there for you guys to look at. So, I grabbed the pattern, I downloaded it, it was free, and I'm reading through the pattern and there's all these crazy weird abbreviations like FLMR, so FL Magic Ring, FL Double Trouble, um, R S T double um what else L D treble it's crazy weird I'm like oh my gosh what does all this mean so I scrolled up to the uh, abbreviation key and they're like explaining how to do these weird crazy stitches I've never heard of before there was like a restored double crochet, a floating magic ring, a floating double treble, a loaded treble, a, just all this weird stuff and I could not wrap my mind around it. So I went back to Ravelry where I downloaded the pattern. I'm scrolling and I'm looking through it in the description box and they said there is there was a link for a video tutorial. So I popped that on and Oh yeah, there was a forked double treble and a a uh, straddle treble and all kinds of crazy weird stuff. So I looked at the tutorial and this lady, she has these stitches so that you can make it all in one piece and you don't have to sew things together. And so you have to leave a longer tail than what you normally would and you like okay say like this is your working yarn here we'll put a slip knot on just so it doesn't move around okay so your working yarn so then you take your tail and this is to move your tail to specific spots in your project so you take your tail and you wrap your tail around and then you work with these loops on your hook you know what I mean from your tail and to make the floating magic ring you you like you make your loops for your treble or your double treble or whatever it is that you're starting with and then you yarn over 
two more times it's really hard to show you guys and then you pinch off those two loops and you pull through those two and then this itty bitty thing here that you're pinched that you're hanging on to that's your magic ring that you're supposed to work into that's a floating magic ring and oh my goodness this is so fiddly but it looks cool well now I will show it to you so there's what we got and so I was look, watching the tutorial and I wanted it to be longer so the tutorial doesn't really tell you if you want to keep making more spider web stuff here and do this and do that it just shows you how to make the first two so now these are all closed up I can't connect anymore according to how she does it so I don't know maybe I'll just take this little one and put it on the bottom of that shelf back there and maybe I'll go back because you do like half the spider webs you do like half a web and then you make a spider and then you make like half another web and then you connect the spider and then you come around the top so maybe I'll have to look back at the tutorial maybe just do all the bottom first and then come back around I'm not sure but yeah you see how the spider is kind of kind of puffy that's where those forked doubles came into play the um straddle doubles are fairly easy to get the hang of you just like or was it the straddle treble? You just kind of you did your first two or three yarn overs, and then you went in one side, you pulled up a loop, and then you went in the other side, you pulled up a loop, and then you pulled through four, and then you went two and two. Those are those. That's probably the most simplest thing on all the strange and odd stitches that there was. I not beginner friendly. And I will link the pattern in the description box. It is free, but you're definitely going to want to take a look at that video tutorial if you attempt to do this. So yeah, this is the spider and cobweb trim. Oh, there is another um, piece. There's like basically a straight line that goes across the top. I have not done that yet. I probably will eventually, but... I wasn't sure if I was going to rip this out and start over and try to make it longer, but like I said, I might just, I might just put that on that shelf there, 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 that shelf at the bottom. So I was with number two and <laughs> I was showing this to um, the girls in Zoom because, you know, Joe from Joe's Web. Joe's Web, spiders, right? So I showed her what I was making, and then I was explaining um, the pattern and everything and all the weird things, and then I sent her the video for it. And she's like, yeah, that's, that's kind of fiddly. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. But I mean, whatever. But anyway, I was showing her how far I got, and she's like, I see a halter top. So like the spider up by the neck and yeah. And I'm like, yeah, well this would not fit me. It's far too small. And if you're watching oh, no, I'm not even gonna go there. Um if you're watching the live and you saw the joke pattern that I picked out for Laura and the whole conversation that followed. Um, you know where I'm going with that. I'm not, I'm not going to elaborate anymore. If you know, you know. If you don't, go watch the live. Um, I think it was on Lynette's channel. The, when we were all picking out the projects for each other for this syrup challenge. 
All right. So we have another whip. I think it's just one more whip. And oh, let me grab it. I'm like looking all over for it. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? And it's right like in front of my face on my cart. So this is, again, I don't remember the pattern name. This one was also a free pattern. And I can't remember. I really can't remember the name of the pattern. But I am using a size 10 crochet cotton thread. And I am using a 2.75 hook. And let's see if you can. And this I just started today, I think. I think yeah, I think I started it today. Yeah. Well, technically today is Monday. And I haven't been to bed yet. So I guess technically I started it yesterday. So this is a little doily. And I want to hold it up here. So there's going to be little skulls in it. So right here is where the teeth are. Those three open. And then right here is the nose. And then right here. There's these chain two spaces here. I'm going to make them bigger. Those are going to be where the eyes are. Uh, trying to open them up so you can kind of see. So, yeah, eye, eye, nose, teeth. Okay. Hang on, let me find something black. Well, there's something black right behind me, but I don't think Miko is going to let me hold him up and hold this against him. One minute. All right. So, let's see what I guess. So, you can kind of see it a little bit better. Maybe. Yeah, you can see the skulls better now. Right there. Yep. All right. So, this pattern will also be linked in the description box down below and I had to I think this pattern is uh, yarn inspirations pattern and I had to frog this a couple of times um, yeah um, some of the uh, I was having problems with the clarity of some of the rounds in the pattern and I wasn't quite sure if I was doing things right. And so I tried one way the first time and it was obviously not the correct way to do it. So I had to rip it out and try it the other way. Because, you know, sometimes when you read things, you can interpret it a couple of different ways. And I wasn't quite sure which way I was supposed to interpret it. Um, but luckily they have like stitch counts and stuff. So I finished the round and I look back. I'm like, no, I don't have enough chain spaces. I obviously did not understand that correctly. So yeah, I ripped it out and tried again. And right here, you had to single crochet all three of those chains together. And yeah, so I don't know. I think this will turn out all right. I think so far it's looking like it's supposed to. So yeah, again, you can't really see the greatest without anything black underneath it, but whip number three. I just, that's, I just in the mood to do something Halloween-y, you know, October is going to be here before you know it. And that's, again, part of the reason why I picked the shawl, the skull shawl for my syrup project, because I feel like doing Halloween-y things. So I guess all my whips are kind of Halloween, but that's all right. 
Alright, so that's all we've got for whips, so it's time for finished up. Well, object. I was gonna say plural. We've only got one finished object, so yeah. Uh let's go grab that, shall we? Alright. Finished object. We have Billy the dog. Got all the bright colored rings. So again, if you have not seen this, you pull the back off. There's like a little hole in there. And then, you know, like your typical stacking toy. Now, some of these rings, the yarn weights, I mean, they're all four weights, but some four weights are just a little bit thicker than others. So as you can see, the rings are not all nice and uniform in shape and size, especially this guy back here is quite a bit larger than the rest of them, but it is okay. There's the back and his cute little tail and his cute little face with his cute little eyes. His nose is a little crooked. That's all right. Yeah. So the eyes, these are Joe's eyes from Joe's Web. And she has a tutorial for these eyes on her channel. And she also has a written pattern that you can purchase on Etsy. I will try to find her video and link it in the description box down below. And I will also try to link the, um, the PDF. So you can go buy the PDF if you want. And you can support Joe. And he's got some eyebrows. And he's super cute. And that heart on his chest. Yeah, so I mean, I will link this in the description box as well. This is a paid for pattern. I believe it was like five or six dollars. I don't remember exactly. But it will be linked. So if you're interested, you can make your own. I just have to finish. I have to do. Um, I have to do a one baby booty, and then I can ship, ship, ship this guy off to his new home, along with the baby booties, the baby hooded cardigan, the baby blanket, and a few things that I purchased for my former coworker. I think I showed her a picture of the one baby booty, but she has no idea about this or the hooded cardigan or the blanket or the other goodies I'm giving her. But yeah, that is my finished object. And I guess now we're just going to have a little bit of chit chat about things that are upcoming, uh, things that I'm thinking about doing and a change for my channel. So, I've been wanting to change my channel name just because there is another YOH crochet and before I go any further in my YouTube endeavor and, you know, just my designing and just everything crochet related that I am linking to the name YOH crochet, I, I want to change it. I, I don't want to share a name with somebody else. It's not fair to them. They had it first, not me. I didn't realize when I picked a name for my channel that somebody else had it. And then when I did realize, I'm like, eh, I'm little anyway. They got way more subscribers than me. It's whatever. But slowly I am growing. So I want to change my name before, you know, I get too much bigger. Not that I think I'm going to get that much bigger, but you know what I mean. And then if I change my channel name, I'm going to have to change um, my uh, design name on all my patterns. So I'll probably change my Ravelry name. Um, just anything that might be affiliated with where I am trying to advertise my patterns and all that. But I lack 
creativity in naming things. Um, so I need your help. So I don't want my actual name in the title. Um, I think I want at the end of it, like, or I want like designs or creations or something to that effect in the title. But if I can find a synonym for, um, designs or creations, that would be great. Cause I feel like designs and creations are, are not very original. A lot of people have those type names. A lot of people have that in their channel name, so I could find a similar word for that. That would be great. I would like to incorporate dogs somehow into my channel. Not like obvious, an obvious dog reference, just a subtle little dog reference. Just because Nico is such a big part of who I am, he's a big part of my life, he is my heart um so i was thinking yarn tails like t-a-i-l-s you know like a dog tail but then it could have a double meaning you know because yarn tails yarn tails um yeah i don't know but then if i want like yarn tails creations is that too much of an s maybe just do Yarn and tail or yarn tail. I don't know. Um, if you guys have any ideas, it'd be great. Um, someone said something yarny critter creations, but I don't know. I don't just do Amis, you know, and critter is not really specific to a dog. And then I thought maybe like whiskers and yarn, but. You know, a lot of people tend to think of cats and not dogs when you say whiskers. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want my name in it. I don't want Miko's name in it. I just I want something catchy and something that still incorporates my four-legged sidekick. You know, just a subtle, subtle reference to him um yeah so there's that i want to change my channel name i don't know guys give me ideas please in the description box um i think on it and if you don't think of anything while you're watching this video or it hits you a couple of days later feel free to email it to me you don't have to go back and find this video um, and put a comment and feel free to email. That's fine. I am open to suggestions. I need the right name. And then I have to make sure it's not taken already. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, I am working on a third Halloween crochet roundup video. And actually, I don't know if I said, but the doily that I'm working on that is going to be one of the patterns in the video. Um, I have like maybe 10 in there so far. So look for that hopefully by the end of the week or early next week. Hopefully. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to mention and I cannot remember. Yeah, it's gone, I don't remember. I need to make a list is what I need to do. I need to make notes, but alas, I do not have the foresight for such, such things. Um, yeah. You know what? Maybe I will do another special reserve yarn project. If Manan and Lynette and everybody else is not ready to do this again and I'm itching to get another one going, maybe I will have you guys, I will have you guys pick out my project and you can email it to me and then whoever's, 
Well, I don't know if that'll work, though. I was going to say, because it's supposed to be so you're not, like, thinking about um, what you're going to make. And, and But so if I've got, like, a bunch of you emailing me a pattern, then I got to choose between all those. I don't know. I thought maybe that might be fun until I realized maybe I'll have a hard time picking. Like, this, this way, like, each person only picks two patterns. Just in case, you know, we really don't like one of them. I don't know. It's something to think on. And then maybe whoever's pattern I pick, they, I could buy them a pattern of their choosing. I don't know. It's just something I'm thinking about. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. I need to think on that some more. That's a possibility, though. Maybe. All right. What else is coming up? I don't know. I want to make Halloween things. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to finish my whips. And I think I want to make some Halloween things. So stay tuned. Oh, I do need to find a pattern for a boggy blanket too. I need to get at least one of those done. But yeah, I don't know. I, it's up in the air. The only thing that I do know is I want to change my channel name. So please, help me, help me. I am so stuck. I don't know. I don't know what name. I was just brainstorming, writing down things, and I think Yarn Tales is the best I can come up with. So if you guys got something better, please, please, please let me know. And with that... Would you like to see me go before I say goodbye? I will have him give me a hug. We got a greenie. He hasn't had a greenie yet. We'll give him a greenie. We got pumpkin spice greenies. Ah, these things smell so bad. So stinky. It's amazing how something that smells this bad is supposed to be good for their teeth. Nico, you want this? Come on, get your, you want your treats? Okay, all right, I am going to let you go and I'll see you, I don't know, in a couple of weeks at the very latest. All right, okay, take care.